we used to do 10 year visions uh, in the past. Right now, uh, I think that three years is the most that you can probably uh, move forward. I think that the, the generation that is right behind, like the generation of my grandchildren, these people are very digitally savvy. They know how to maneuver and navigate around all kinds of digital platforms. And I think that we need to catch up with that. You will see probably more use of artificial intelligence. You will see more virtual reality, augmented reality as storytelling tools. And, and my, my vision of that is that we need to catch up with mobile storytelling first. How can we tell stories in smaller platforms? Right now, the smallest platform is the screen of a phone where 82% of the people are consuming content all day long. Uh, the average person comes to a phone, to a mobile phone 114 times in a day, sometimes to order food, sometimes to get a map. But it's a great possibility for media houses to really introduce their brand. We don't do enough of that, Ayana. We don't do enough of that. The average media house still thinks in terms of editions. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. If you had a weekly magazine, Perry Match, Time Magazine, you deal from Monday to Monday or from Friday to Friday. In the mind of everybody who works there, they are working on an edition that will be um, a group of stories that come out at a certain time. If you are in a daily newspaper, go from five in the morning to five in the morning the next day. Well, editions are still there, but in this mobile era, we think in terms of stories. It's 24 seven, you know, some stories have long legs, some stories have short legs, but it's advancing stories, not thinking in terms of, even for television, who sits and waits there for the six o'clock news, for the 10 o'clock news, but they still have that because that is how news was presented through the ages. A newspaper in the morning, a weekly magazine once a week, a television forecast two or three times a day. Um, I think that, that kind of mentality has to shift. In the next three years, we need to see newsrooms that see the stories of the day as what they are following. And people will consume them at different times. It's just like what is happening with television programming. People stream and look at shows whenever they want to look at them. The news business is the same thing. People are constantly connecting. So having said that, one of the things I do with all my clients is to try to create mobile branding. How can you create a symbol where the name of your newspaper or magazine is very easy to catch, very easy to see? Normally, the New York Times would have a T for Times, G for Guardian. Why is that? Because eventually, when print um, uh, publications are not around and the name is not seen on a printed page, you have created a mobile brand for yourself, small enough that you can put it on a social card anywhere. The story came from The Guardian. The story came from Sudoshi Saito. Depress it, whatever it is. So these are my missions these days, which is really a far cry from being a newspaper designer. I mean, those days are over because you cannot leave the journalism behind. In all of my workshops right now, I want reporters, they initiate the story. If before they write the story, they're gonna write it for mobile devices, that's the beginning. I always say, go from small to large, not from large to small. In many media houses, everything is conceptualized large and then dumped into a small platform. Well, if you ever had to move from one big house to a small house, you know that uh, if, you, if you're coming from a three-bedroom house to a one-bedroom uh, flat, that's going to be difficult to do. It's much easier to go from small to large. So every reporter writes a story first for mobile. Then that story has other lives in other platforms, but not the other way around. It, it's a lot of work to do. Uh, but that's how I see the next three years. Newsrooms updating themselves. Um, creating a mobile first, not even digital first, a mobile first philosophy. That's what should be coming.